getting personal in his new memoir, Let Love Have the Last Word. Word. Please welcome back the fabulous and amazing Common. Great to see you. Hey, how Dr. You? Common, how you doing, Dr. Yes. Common? Yes. I'm a doctor now. It's uh -huh. amazing. Uh, I can't believe it. Commencement speech uh, at your alma mater, Florida A&M. Yeah. And uh, you look thrilled. You, <laughs> yeah. They, you didn't know you were getting a doctorate. No, I didn't know I was getting it. It was such full, a full circle experience because I went to FAMU, a historical black college, and had one of the best experiences of life. But I left there to go to pursue my career. Uh -huh. So it was kind of work undone. Yeah. But then for my career to take me back there to be able to speak at, at the commencement <laughs> ceremony and to get an honorary doctor, I wore that robe for all through the airport. They let me keep it. I, wore that. <laughs> I, I, I ain't take it off till I was going to sleep. I'm right. serious. So oh, that's wow. how, that's how I, Good. it's one of the monumental moments in my life. Yes, it is. Yes, oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. Well, you have another monumental moment. You have a new book called Let Love Have the Last Word. Yeah. And I think it's interesting to make the subject about love. Why did you choose that? I chose love because a lot of the topics that we talk about, like when it comes to politics and the, the divisiveness and, and, you know, the corruption that's going on and different things, I, I feel like those conversations weigh down on us. And um, love for me has been one of the biggest solutions to when I am heavy, like just finding, and I'm not just talking a floaty love, I'm talking about like practicing love as a, as a human being, like finding out ways to love myself. And, um, and, 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 and in turn, and, and in turn, like that, that helps me, allows me to love other people and love people that are different from me. We don't believe the same thing. I still don't. I don't have to spew out hate to be against that person. Um, and, I th and I think it's a thing we got to practice in these times to overcome these times. That's that's how we rise above it is through practicing love. So that's why I wanted to talk about it and like talk about therapy, talk about mm -hmm. things that black men don't. They, yeah. Don't talk about sometimes. Like, it's a, tick, it's a stigma for us to, to say I'm going to a therapist. You know, yeah. like, if, if I told my friends that, they look at me and be like, yo, why are you going to a therapist? What's the matter? You look like everything, everything is good with you. Why are you going to a therapist? Mm -hmm. But we all need that mental health support. Mm -hmm. People experience right. so much trauma. Even when things are good, you still have things that you've experienced in life that you may not know you're carrying with you. I really got to, uh, through therapy, learn a lot about how I react in relationships. So, mm -hmm. and, I, and I really like know from going to communities how much trauma that, that young people go through and, and, the, yes. and some of the depression and anxiety. And I'm like, man, just get some help. Just get some support. We all need it. So My friend that's always so says, I have a friend always says, it's an inside job. Yes, it is. Yes. That's, yeah, mm -hmm. like, um, it was, it was good for me. I saw Jay-Z talking in a conversation about how he said how the hardest work he had to do, he said, you know, I, I've hustled, I've did different things. I've even been shot at, but he said the hardest work I had to do was to work on myself. And uh, that's what I've been feeling like, to work on my, but I, but I feel like the work on myself is helping me to go out and be a, a better human being to others. Good you know? I, 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 would say, um, I read your book. Um, it's it's so beautiful. Thank your you. book is so beautiful and beautifully written. And for me, it seemed like a love letter to your daughter, Amoye. Uh, <laughs> yes, Amoye. Uh, she's here in the audience. Amoye. Uh, and uh, what what was striking to me is that you write about your relationship with her, and she's and you write that she called you recently, and um, she said that she wished you had been there more for her when she was a child. Yes. And how did that make you feel, and how did it change you? It changed me in many ways. It, it definitely. At the moment of the, of the discussion, it definitely, I felt hurt. I felt angry in a way, you know, yeah. to the people that they are serving, but. Yeah. Not. You know, you also write about, in the book, about your love life and, yeah. uh, and how Michelle Obama is your mentor on that topic. Yeah. Tell, tell us about that. But yeah, she gave me a little love advice. She, <laughs> she um, I mean, she really. I actually had the experience when they were, when Michelle Obama and President Obama were in the, in the White House, I had the experience of sitting down talking with them and, you know, she was asking me, she's like, comment, you, you, you're not married? Why are you not married? And I was, <laughs> and then I, you know, we got into the discussion and she was like, no, you're not approaching it the right way. Cause at, at that time, I think I was looking for this perfect person and I'm not the perfect person. And she just started breaking down like, you know, what are the important things to you? 
make sure the person has those things because you're not going to get everything in that. And I was thinking, well, President Obama got everything in you, <laughs> don't he? But, but, <laughs> yeah, so does she, right? But, uh, but you know, I, to hear that coming from her was yeah. really important. It was insightful because you just think, yeah. Like they, well, they're perfect people. There are a lot yeah. of ladies well, that'll be watching. So. Yeah, what, what are you looking for? for? <laughs> what, what, what are the Every things you're looking for? Every time you're on, the audience well, goes crazy. I yeah. love, um, <laughs> Do you love I'm, nurses? I, 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 <laughs> I love the nurses. The nurses okay. I love that they took care they of you. Took too. Yeah. Yes, they did. You know, my mother just had a surgery, and, I, and as I was, you know, going through the hospital and being there, the people working in the hospital, I was yeah. like, I gained they a whole new respect. Work. Thank you. They really doing they God's are. work. Those they are some are. of the people that, like, we don't talk about. They but, are. But to get back to what y'all said, yeah. I wanted a lady. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I love a woman who is caring, like, open-hearted, um, like, cares about people has a spirituality to her that, you know, believes in a higher power. Uh, she has to be able to have fun. Like, we got to be able to... People think I'm just all talking serious all the time. I like to joke. I like to have fun. I like to go...